Hey, 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 uh, Lego Lee here. What's up, y'all? I don't do this very often, like show my face. I'm also filming with my phone, which I am usually against doing. I always pride myself on using actual cameras, but I'm filming my phone because I'm doing a vlog. That's right, baby. I'm doing a vlog. On Instagram, I asked you guys, would you watch a vlog of me, the life of Lee? Which, that's kind of fun, I could abbreviate that LOL. Which would be an accurate description of my life, LOL. You know, that's a great name. I literally just came up on the spot, LOL. That's gonna be the name of my new vlog series. I'll try to post one vlog a week, and these will probably go up, I don't know, every Wednesday or something. I have no idea, this is all just happening on the fly. And I am currently going to Walmart. That's right, y'all. I'm going to Walmart to see if they have any epic clearance. So, without further ado, let's just go inside and see what's going on. Clearance aisle. Ooh. There are no markings on these boxes. That's good. I'm gonna have to find a price scanner because I mean I would probably buy this if that were on the good clearance. Also, I don't even have this set. That was like 50% off. Oh, it's on clearance for list price? That makes sense. <laughs> what is this? Uh, we appear to have oh that box is trying to fall off. The Duel on Starkiller base set. 16, that's a terrible. These are really not on big clearance. Okay. Seven bucks for this. I might have to pick that up because that's very cheap for that set. A wing? Like, is this on clearance? What else we got? This mech? See what I did? See what I did, y'all? Knocked it over. This mech? Again, not marked price-wise, so we're gonna have to hit up a price check because I don't know what's going on. Some of these are literally like hardly even on clearance. Like, this is kind of disappointing. I will be buying that for $7. Also, kind of tempted to get this desert skiff display for nine bucks. Like, I don't collect action figure stuff as much, but that's a good deal. But we'll have to price scan a bunch of this stuff. So back in the actual Lego aisle, uh, ooh, they got, wow, they have a lot of the Mandalorian Battle Pack. If you're looking for that, come to this Walmart in uh, Hillsboro, North Carolina. Um, it appears they have moved any old Lego sets off the Lego aisle, which is, you know, good. Put it all in the clearance section. And, oh, yes, I've actually been looking for this poly bag for a while now, so I will definitely be picking that up. But... I still need to find a price scanner to see what those unmarked clearance sets actually cost. Of course, the first price scanner I find is literally just not even on. Not gonna lie, pretty let down by that Walmart run because they had some stuff I would have liked on clearance, but none of it was marked and I could not find a price scanner anywhere. And I also couldn't really find employees and I also had like seven sets and I didn't want to make an employee ring up all of those sets so i just ended up leaving but i did end up getting and i, I got actually two of this queen whatever i want to be builder's box it's a stupid set it's a set i was never going to get but seven dollars for 455 pieces and look at the colors of these parts man i mean seriously these are some weird colors so that's a fantastic parts pack for seven bucks. I got two of those and I also scored myself finally. I've been looking for this for a while. The Captain Marvel poly bag with that Comic-Con figure that's now much easier to get in this poly bag. So that's the Walmart haul. I think I'm gonna go to Target and see what they got and report from there. So apparently I'm an idiot and there's actually a Walmart app that lets you price scan. So I just download that app and I'm going right back into the Walmart that I just got out of. The person who's like checking the receipts at the door is gonna look at me like I'm a crazy freak because I left here like three minutes ago, but we're heading back in, people. Dude, this vlog is so live, it's so raw, I absolutely love it. Thank God, seriously, thank you, Jesus for that Walmart app and my friend who told me about it. Like I was leaving Walmart and I texted him and he's like, dude, use the Walmart app. And I'm like, oh crap. I went back in and unfortunately that Avengers compound, which is a set that I want, but don't want to pay a lot for. I was hoping that would be on some crazy 75% off clearance. It wasn't. It was literally in the clearance aisle listed at $99 and 98 cents. So an entire cent off, but I got two more sets 
on clearance. One, kind of weird to put the two bags here, not really sure why. Actually, three bags, there's so many bags. Walmart being waste with all these plastic bags, man. You gotta save the environment. But I got this Lego Movie 2 set here, not really a set that I wanted, but it does have a good figure. And this is, in one hand, a little bit difficult. This is the uh, the Bat Battle Ready Batman and Metal Beard set. This set's normally 20 bucks, terrible deal for $20. I was never gonna pay that. I actually skipped on this set, I think, for $9. Like, it was on some pretty hardcore clearance on Amazon. I was like, eh, nah, it was four bucks. Four dollars for all these pieces. And, I mean, I'd pay four dollars for that Batman figure. So, this is a great set for four dollars. But then, the crown jewel of today's first vlog of this haul is this set. It's a big Ninjago set. One of the biggest Ninjago sets I've purchased in a long time. Check this out. This is Lloyd's Titan Mech. 876 pieces, and how much did I pay for it? 19. $19! This is an $80 set that I got for 19 bucks. That is more than 75% off. Holy crap. So, thank God for the Walmart app. Thank you for all these awesome clearances, Walmart, and I have some fun building ahead of me. Okay, we're finally going to Target, and let's just see if they have any clearance. And last time I was here, it was like the middle of January, and they hadn't even stocked up their 2020 stuff yet. So let's see what the display looks like at Target. I love seeing this sit here for 80 bucks. Just got it at Walmart for 19. I kind of thought this would be on clearance. I'll check to see if there's a different clearance section, but don't really see any interesting deals. 50% off, that's not too bad, but considering the deals I just got at Walmart, I'm not gonna bite on any of this stuff. It is became 50% off though. I'm trying to build my own Lego city. I would probably pick that up. Why is this here? Online item. I guess some retort re returned this. It's a really good deal. I mean, I don't have money for that right now, but it's a great deal for a gigantic set. These are the spoils of today's haul. I didn't buy anything at Target. I didn't really feel like spending any money on stuff there, but I got all of this stuff here. Everything you see here, not counting the Captain Marvel poly bag because I got those for full price. Those were about $5 each. This is $140. Actually, wait, no. These are $40 each. So that's $80? $160. $180. Bucks. $180 of Lego sets I got for $37. <laughs> What a fantastic Walmart clearance run. Next week, I'll probably try to hit up some Walmarts that I don't normally go to because I want to see if they have more stuff. But what a fantastic Walmart clearance haul. And we're back. It is Friday now, and it is time to build. I'm going to build these three sets today. I'm probably not going to build this set because I'm not sure. I'm going to part it out and use the pieces for mocks and maybe sell some of the parts on BrickLink or something. But... We're going to build these three sets today, and I'll kind of chronicle my building process here, starting with this tiny Captain Marvel set. But before we get started, check out YouTube, my channel. I have a podcast up, and it should be on Spotify. Hopefully Spotify approves it, and I'll try to get it on iTunes as well. I have a podcast. It's called Brickerology. Please check it out. It's awesome. I think you'll love it. Please just go check that out. It's my podcast, Brickology. But now, let's get building. Okay, done building these smaller sets first. Look at the Captain Marvel thing. I mean, you really buy this Captain Marvel's poly bag for this figure. This figure, if you did not know, was previously only in a Comic-Con exclusive set. I'm sorry if you spent the big bucks on the Comic-Con set to get this fig. Great $5 purchase just for this figure. And also, I mean, this Nick Fury figure is not exclusive, but he's always great to get. And this build, I mean, it's accurate to the movie. Has some good pieces, good prints. I mean, look at that print. That's an awesome little tape print right there. This is a solid build, and you even get the Tesseract. Now, this Battle Ready Batman set from Lego Movie. Oh my gosh, I am so glad I skipped on this set for $20. This is not worth $20. Bucks. I mean, this figure here is pretty underwhelming. This star guy comes in a bunch of Lego Movie 2 sets. The Metal Beard 
it's okay. It just looks so awkward to me. I just, I'm not a huge fan of this design. I prefer the older Metal Beard designs. And this Batman build is pretty awful. I mean, seriously, this build just feels incomplete. There's almost nothing going on. It has this play feature right here with the You're Welcome sign, which is a nice print. You can basically just swing it up and down. That's pretty boring. But basically, the main reason I got this set, I mean, it was four bucks at Walmart. I would pay $4 for this Batman fig alone. This is a fantastic fig with an awesome piece. So this is a great figure. The rest of the set kind of sucks, but for four bucks, it was a great purchase. So now it's time to build the big boy in this Ninjago mech set. Six numbered bags. I'm really excited to build this 876 piece set that I paid $19 for, woo! This mech is pretty gorgeous i'm not gonna lie like seriously just aesthetically speaking the color scheme the white the gold and the sand green it blends together pretty awesome and the design is really good i mean look how awesome and fine these details are this is one of the better mechs i think lego has ever made and there's actually some printed pieces those are printed right there i was impressed by that the head even looks cool the articulation is pretty bad there's not a lot of posability with this thing kind of like the voltron set also it has a bit of a weird stance. I feel like I built the feet wrong or something because mine just likes to lean. Uh, if you have this set, please tell me in the comments below if you've had that problem as well because I don't like how this thing tends to lean so much because it hurts display value, which is what I'm gonna be doing with this set rather than you know playing with it, of course. But besides that, it's a great set. And these figures, I love these like Ice Samurai figures. They are so detailed and cool. Also, this is a pretty cool figure right here that I think is exclusive to this set. If you're interested in purchasing this figure, let me know because I might sell it on eBay. I don't really have much use for it, but I love the design of this. And for $19, oh my goodness, that is a deal that is hard to beat. So we're making an Instagram post. I'm doing another one of these micro fighter comparison posts. My version of the Kylo Ren's one last week actually did really well. So I'm gonna do another one this week and see how it does in terms of likes. And this is kind of my setup for doing posts. I have this really big Amazon um, light box thing right here. I have a couple of these lights. I need to upgrade these lights. These lights, I mean, they're, they're okay, but they're kind of broken. And I think they take up a lot of room that I wish I had more room for. But this light box, I mean, you can see it's a big, light box and i'm taking a photo of the y-wing micro fighter in front of the actual y-wing and just so you know i do not take photos with my phone i get questions about that all the time for instagram i pretty much always take photos with an actual camera the phone cameras are great and i'm using it to vlog right now because you know well i'm about to take a photo with the other camera but phone cameras cannot quite get the shallow focus that this sort of camera can i mean i know they have all portrait mode and all that fun stuff, but it's not quite the same level. And I'm gonna try it out here and just kind of show you the high quality photos I get. And if you don't follow me already on Instagram, please do. See, this is what I'm talking about. You can't really get that kind of shallow focus on your phone. I think that's a great photo. It really works well using this camera. Your phone, you can take some really high quality photos, but I don't think you can get that good of quality using your phone. So it is now Sunday, that post I was just talking about is up on my Instagram and I'm going to Walmart. We're going to this new Walmart. It's not a new Walmart, it's actually the Walmart that's closest to my house. Now I went here a couple weeks ago, they had absolutely no clearance, really disappointing. They'd already stocked all the new stuff up. But according to their website, apparently they have some stuff on clearance. So let's go inside and see what happens. But also my hair looks horrible today. Having a bad hair day, it just won't calm down. I need to get a haircut. But let's go inside this Walmart and see what's going on. Actually, super tempted to get this Baby Yoda poster. <laughs> that is pretty fantastic. I kind of want to pick one of those up. In a shocking turn of events, it appears they have a price scanner. I wonder if that actually works, unlike every other one I've ever been to. <laughs> so, Lego section. It appears that, yeah, everything has been moved out here. It's only the new stuff, which is unfortunate, but we'll go to the clearance section in just a minute. They do have more Mandalorian battle packs, which I know a lot of people are having a hard time finding that. So should I do like a giveaway or something for that? Would you guys be interested in that? Please let me know in the comments if you'd like a giveaway for that Mandalorian battle pack, but pretty much there's all the new stuff here, no clearance. Part of me feels like this thing should be on sale, so we're just gonna ring up the price here. Ooh, that's so loud. It's not on sale. Well, it is not on a little bit of sale, but 
Not good enough deal for me to want to purchase that thing. But I definitely say some people get that for like $2 at their Walmarts. This actually looks like a tornado went through this aisle. Like, oh my goodness, this is so disorganized. Holy crap. <laughs> I don't, there could be Lego hiding behind some of this stuff. And I just wouldn't be able to see it because it actually looks so disorganized. Good job, Walmart. <laughs> You really died this time, but I do not see any Lego on clearance in this aisle. That is a big, big disappointment. This Walmart still sucks, and so does my hair. So bad hair day and a bad Walmart, but there's another Walmart about 10 minutes down the road, so I'll check that one out. As I was filming that last clip, some child like emerged from the aisle next to Lego aisle and gave me the weirdest look. She's like, what is this freak doing? So I guess that's the life of being a vlogger and filming talking to yourself on the phone in the middle of a Walmart. But it's guess what I gotta do for the fans, right? But let's head to the next Walmart and see if they have anything, please. It is super bright, I apologize, but we are at one final Walmart. This Walmart appears to be much newer and nicer than the ones I've gone to before. So hopefully that means they actually have good clearance. This Walmart is huge, and their Lego section is quite sizable. It appears like the other ones, though, they've already moved on from the old stuff and stocked up on the new stuff, but I'm still on the lookout for some clearance. Oh boy. Oh no. It's bad. This is real bad. What on planet Earth, dude? My luck, I mean, I got good luck earlier with the Ninjago set, that's about it though. This is nothing, this is like, pretty much deserted in terms of clearance. All right, there's one more side and that's just electronics, Never mind. Oof, big oof. Clearance of this Walmart, that really sucks. With a serious look of clearance here, I'm actually gonna go ahead and buy Amanda Battle Pack Let's do a giveaway. You know what? Screw it. A lot of people are having trouble finding this, and I've been lucky enough to find a bunch of them, so look out for a giveaway on my Instagram account here soon. I may have struck out at Walmart, but this might be a package from Lego. Yes! It's a package from Lego.com, baby. I'm not going to show my address, but we'll open this thing up just here in a second. I'm actually pretty shocked that this package came today because I ordered this on Friday, and it's Sunday. First off, it's Sunday, and I didn't know they delivered packages from Lego on Sunday. I thought the FedEx would not deliver anything. So that's two-day shipping. That is Amazon levels of shipping. There's actually a good bit of stuff in here because if you order, I think it's pretty much just this weekend. It's probably not even going to be available once this video is up. But there's like a three-day window where if you spent $80 on Lego Shop at Home and you spent at least $40 on Star Wars sets, you got not one, not two, but three free promotions. So this package here is really good use of space, Lego. I'm proud of them. There's not a bunch of empty space in here. So that's a great use of space. And I got three free promotions. So the first free promo is the Obi-Wan 40th anniversary figure. I already have one of these. So I'm going to sell this on eBay, hopefully make some of my money back. Also, the Chinese New Year, Year of the Rat set. That's really cute, love that. Not sure if I'm gonna build this yet or not, but it's pretty cool. And then finally, this hidden side dragster set. I mean, 134 pieces, this would probably be like a 10 to $15 set if it were actually available on the market. That's a pretty cool set to get for free. And then what I actually ordered is to get over the $40 threshold for Star Wars sets, I got another Sith Troopers battle pack. I already have one of these, but I'm gonna army build it just a little bit. And then I got the Micro Fighter 2 pack of the T-16 Skyhopper and Bantha. That's a pretty cool set right there. And finally, I got this Snow Speeder 4 Plus set. Didn't have it. I do want these figures. And there's some cool pieces in here, but that was $20 as well. So that's the Star Wars stuff I bought. And then to get to 80 bucks, I added in this Speed Champion set, the... Formula E, Panasonic, Jaguar Racing, Gen 2 car, and Jaguar I-Pace E-Trophy. That's a very long name, but this set is 30 bucks, and the price for piece for $30 is 
ridiculous and I really like the new Speed Champion stuff. So look out for a review for pretty much all of this stuff. So that is my Lego Shop at Home haul. I also got that Mandalorian Battle Pack to give away. So today's haul has been pretty good. It is now Monday. All of those sets are built and sorry about kind of an abrupt cut there. I really wanted to chronicle myself building all of these various sets. But literally as I was building the Micro Fighter set, the news about Kobe Bryant dropped. And I just wasn't really in a good place to record anything for the rest of the day. I built the sets while watching some NBA basketball and the Pro Bowl and the Grammys last night. But I decided not to record those segments. But it's now Monday. I'm going to put this up on eBay soon for sale. I'm still on the fence. I'm on the fence. Should I build this or should I try and sell it? Because it's a cool set. I just don't really know where I'm going to put it in my collection. I don't have the other Chinese New Year sets either. So it's really just a random thing that will kind of stick out in my collection. I haven't built this yet. I'll add this to the catalog of sets I have yet to build. And this Mando Battle Pack giveaway. By the time this vlog is out, there sh this should be up as, as a giveaway on my Instagram account. I'm probably going to put that up on Tuesday, so tomorrow. The rest of the stuff is built and in the box right here, and I need to get cracking on reviews for these sets. I don't really have anything to do, so I'm actually just going to go through kind of this box I have here. There's a ton of Lego stuff in this box, and there's clearly some figures and stuff like this old cyborg figure that I could definitely probably try and sell. So I'm gonna set some of that stuff to the side. I mean, an old Monster Fighters build. It's just Lego stuff I didn't really have room in my collection to display, like various city things like this, but I feel like there's definitely some value in here. And of course there are tons and tons of pieces in here. So I should be able to go through, find some great parts, find some stuff like Nick Fury that I can sell and just kind of work my way through this box and see what's inside. Not a ton in that box I think is super valuable, but I should be able to sell some of these figures. If you want any of these, just let me know in the comments below. They should be up on eBay soon along with this Moana. Moana? Moana. I kind of combine mini and Moana. Moana mini doll figure. So those figs should be up on my eBay store here shortly. Another box of just random Lego stuff like I don't even remember getting this set like I forgot this set existed It was a pretty terrible one this uh Joker steamroller old Spongebob sets like this is some serious nostalgia and throwback stuff I think this was from a Spider-Man set uh, Unfortunately, this happens to a lot of my Lego collection that I'm not like super passionate about like I mean, I like Batman stuff. This was a cool build, but I don't like this build enough to put it on display for years to come, so it all just ends up in these boxes. So you have things like, you know, sets from Ultra Agents from 2000, what, 14, 15? Like, this is some classic stuff. Ninjago stuff. This is 2012 Ninjago, all the uh, snake theme stuff. I mean, seriously, there's some cool stuff in here. A lot of valuable pieces. A lot of cool minifigures just kind of randomly sorted out through here. And I really feel like I need to do kind of like a deep cleanse through these boxes because there is some seriously valuable stuff. I mean, look, random Ninja Turtles figure right here. This figure's gotta be worth something on eBay. I'm gonna set him aside because, you know, I need to make some money because I'm running out of funds to fund this account and I don't make enough money off this account to really fund it. But if I can sell some various figures like these TMNT figs or the other random stuff that's in this box here, I might be able to make some money back that I can pump back in to this channel to make some really cool stuff. And look, hold on. We're pulling out something big. Oh, it's really struggling to come out here. Aha! Dude, I forgot about this set. What a great set. That was a great set. I love that set. Also... Another random cool figure. Check it out. That's from um, Ultra Agents, I believe. That's a cool fig. Who's this figure? Up, oh, he's fallen down. Oh my goodness, it's Kevin Hinkle. He is kind of a legend in the Lego fan community. There is Mr. Kevin Hinkle. His business card is literally a Lego figure. I'm probably just gonna keep that one. But yeah, I need to go through all these boxes. I apologize for the very loud lawnmowers in the background. Another thing I need to do though is throw away some of these boxes or recycle some of these boxes. They're sets I've already reviewed and I don't keep my boxes for very small sets like this. Also, something, a bigger, longer project I need to get working on. It's very hard to see 
But back there in the dark is my entire Lego Lord of the Rings collection, one of my most prized collections of all my Lego sets, and I need to find a better place for those sets because everything else up here is Star Wars, and that back there is Lord of the Rings. I think there might be some Lego movie stuff as well, and those sets deserve to be on display in a better place, and I'm so proud that I have all those sets built and complete with all the minifigures and everything. So I need to desperately work on doing kind of a cleanse of the Lord of the Rings sets and giving them their own shelf somewhere else in my LEGO collection because I want to dedicate everything up here to LEGO Star Wars. It is now Tuesday, January 28th, I think. This will be the last day of this week's vlog. I decided I'm going to upload the vlogs on Wednesday because Wednesday is kind of a boring day. Like, no one does anything on Wednesday, right? So the vlog will now be a Wednesday tradition, and I'm calling it LOL, the life of Lee, because my life is also a joke. Okay, jokes aside, I'm taking a picture now of the sealed Mandalorian Battle Pack. That is going to be my first ever giveaway on my Instagram account. Look out for that. It should be up when this vlog goes up. There'll be a link in the description if you're watching on YouTube. And if you're watching on IGTV, well, just go to my feed and find the link or find the post for this giveaway and all the rules will be in the caption. So look out for that. Additionally today I need to film reviews for some of these sets. I think I'm going to do a review for the Juniors Snow Speeder first because I have a plan for Throwback Thursday, kind of a comparison with some different Snow Speeders. And then I'll probably do a review for the Micro Fighter set this weekend and I'll do kind of a Micro Fighter comparison between this new T16 Skyhopper and the 2015 version of that set. Not sure when I'm going to do a review for this Speed Champion set and I'm probably going to post a review of this set. It might already be up on my IGTV. I might post this review on Tuesday if I have enough time. Additionally, episode two of Brickology, I will be recording either today or tomorrow, depending on how much time I have. So look out for all of that fun stuff. And thank you so much for watching the first episode of Life of Lee. Please like this video. Please comment on this video. Share it with all of your friends. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram. And maybe consider supporting me on Patreon and following me now on Spotify and iTunes because I got a lot of cool stuff and my camera just turned off because I haven't touched it in a few minutes. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.